hanging out up here in Oswego today with Mike Silliman. He works here at A&P Auto Parts. He also is a Leo, liaison excuse me, between Hoosier Tire and Oswego. So he, he's been in the tire game for quite some time. We, we, we wanted to do a second one today, and we thought we'd kind of clear some things up on tire sizes. I know a lot of you, when you go in and they tell you all these numbers and everything, you might be a little confused as to what the numbers are. And some of you, of course, actually run DOT tires on your race cars, a lot of four cylinders, hobby stocks, uh, things of that nature, factory stocks. They actually run DOT tires so we figured we would show you what all the numbers are first of all Mike how are we doing today Doing great what do you guys sell what are these continental generals I think they're right those are generals okay so let's start obviously you can see the one on the left is a little bit smaller compared to the one on the right the one on the left is a 205 55r16 so we'll start right with that 205 number what does that mean Mike 205 is the section width so it's outside to outside as a measurement is 205 millimeters, which comes out to about 8.07 inches. So it's the width of the tread or the entire tire? The entire tire. Okay. So, section width. All right. So that, so obviously the number goes up. We're talking about a wider tire. Yep. And you and guys, you and I were talking that like on the old heavier racetracks, I know a lot of guys would run a thinner tire. It makes sense on a heavy racetrack to get a little more weight on a smaller contact patch. Does that sound right to you? Sounds about right. Okay. How much does that matter in the street car world? Uh, Streetcar world, it can make a big difference because the cars are made for the tire design. So depending on what kind of sidewall you have, if it's a shorter sidewall, a taller sidewall, an H-rated, a V-rated, a T-rated. Uh, we'll get to that is, in a bit. Yeah, the so, suspension okay. is going to be built for that. So, uh, And then when you get into winter tires, um, you know, downsizing, the bigger sidewall is better with that. And that's the middle number, the 55. And I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna say this and see if I can get this right. That is the percentage of that size versus the width of the tire. So on the one on the left, it's that's the sidewall is from the center up, is basically what you're going. 55%, so that's roughly, we figured out a little over four inches. Correct. Okay, what does that do? Because the one on the right is a 65, which is about six inches. What's the advantage of a taller versus a shorter sidewall? Well, a lot of cases, a taller tire taller sidewall will give you more grip in some cases, but with a taller vehicle like an SUV or a shorter vehicle like a Civic, it's all going to matter how the suspension is built. So. Okay. And a lot of times nowadays, we're seeing those low profile numbers, uh, low profile tires. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage there? Because I would think it would be a disadvantage on cornering, but not necessarily. Looks. It's, it's totally <laughs> looks. Yes. So it really doesn't matter? The no. way it's going to go, because you you think that the low profile tires, like we see in a lot of the tuners yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. would make the car not corner as well. Not the case. Um, it won't make a corner as well. Um, it will be more precise, um, st more precise steering. It'll be a, definitely a rougher ride, but because of the design on those, those tires always wear out much quicker. Okay. And the one on the right, like we said, is a 225, so that's a little bit wider. That's about 8.8 .8 inches, and the 65% makes the, uh, uh, the sidewall about 6 inches. What is the advantage of a taller sidewall? Like I said, a taller sidewall can give you more grip in most cases, um, but it all has to be the design, you know, for the design of the vehicle how the uh, vehicle is designed. If it was designed for a very short sidewall and you put a taller sidewall tire on it, mm -hmm. you could definitely lose some grip there or you could gain some, you know, depending on, depending on the vehicle and the dynamics of the vehicle, where all the weight is, if it's an SUV, if it's a little sports car. Mm -hmm. so, so there's always a perfect match for each vehicle. Yeah, and also depending on, on a lot of it, I could see how the tire on the right might not fit on some of the cars it's going to rub in inside the fender well right oh definitely okay definitely. the r16 that's the rim size and that's measured from center to top and the inside correct exactly okay so can we change rim sizes uh, on a vehicle oh you definitely can um, we do that a lot here with winter tires um, so, you know you got a lot of 20s and 19s and 18s out now People want to downsize, and a lot of vehicles, the brakes are smaller, so you can go down to a 16 inch. And basically, your this tire is the same outside diameter, mm -hmm. so it would be like you have two donuts there, except for one oh. will have taller sidewall, shorter rim. So the having more sidewall and less rim will definitely give it grip in the winter time. 
okay, so that's what we want to do. We might go down to a 15 possibly exactly. in a winter and then make it with a higher number in the middle for that side wall. So it'll, so it'll be the same size and cast the same shadow, right? Right. You just have to keep the diameters, outside diameters the same. That's when all your math comes into play, right? That's right. Okay. There's a couple of numbers on the side of the tire, too. One of those is only on one side. There's a DOT number, which is a long, I think it was eight digits, I think we said. Does that really mean anything, or is that more just so that they know what the tire is? Um, well, that does mean everything, because all tires are registered, you know, with, uh, with the government. So they can take that tire. So if there was a recall on a tire, they can look at that, okay, this tire, X, B, Y, Z, whatever, is recalled because we had an issue they can look that oh, up it's okay. in the registry and they can contact people and okay so uh yeah so it's it's pretty uh important and then at the end of it is the date it was built yeah there's a date code and that's going to be a two digit number and i was a little confused on this uh the one on the right by the way is a 31 22 and you sit there and go 31 but you said that's the week it was made in the year 2022 yep week 31 of 2022 do tires get so old? I was telling you about some old snow tires I have, and they do have a, a shelf life and a, and a life on the road, don't they? They definitely do. And the government actually, a few years ago, was trying to put a shelf life on it. Um, it's hard to do, but they've got a recommendation of about five to six years. Um, we had a car in today that had shifted belts in two of the tires. So that's what happens. Right, and the okay. tires were over seven years old. They weren't completely worn out, but because of the age and the rubber drying out, the belts start shifting. And, uh, and that's going to affect the ride, right? Oh, yeah. And eventually that shift will, that tire is going to blow. That will blow up. Okay. You mentioned the R. And the only reason I know something about this, because I know like uh, the famous Autobahn uh -huh. in Germany. Technically, there's no speed limits, but you have to have a certain quality tire. Is, what, what, are the, what do the letters mean? Well, the R on that is radio. Okay. Those. And then after the size, a lot of times there'll be a two or three digit number with a letter. So there'll be like a T rated or an S rated or a V or an H rated or a Z rated. And Z is like a, a high performance. Z is your problem. biggest high performance, yeah. Yeah, because I think that's how they determine like you can't go over a certain speed unless you have a Z Correct. rated tire. So, right. so what is the T, the S, the V, the H? What are those? Is it the a T is your standard tire. S is kind of a thing of the past. Now it's turned into T. So most vehicles you'll see on the road are either a T rated or an H rated. Um, some of the more performance, lower profile performance tires, we get into W, Ys, and Zs. Okay. And the V and the H? Did you say V and H? V and H, yeah. Okay. So a T, what's the main difference with that then? Uh, T is like your lowest speed rating tire. Oh, okay. So it's like for speeds up to 112 miles an hour, which most people, when you see, they're not they're not going to do that anyways. But yeah, because I don't even remember seeing yeah. a T. But do you even sell them? Oh yeah. It's so what would, one of the more popular ones is the T rated. So what would that be for then? Uh, most most vehicles on the road that aren't like a performance size will either have a T rated or an H rated. A lot of your SUVs, a lot of your you know, four-door sedans, mm -hmm. your passenger cars, your your Honda out there probably has H's on it. Okay. So. And what are these then? Uh, those Just, are, that's a Z-rated actually on the right and the, on the left and the right is a H-rated. Okay. All right. So. Anything else you can think of? Because I'm trying to think about the guys who are, are running DOT tires. I could see how these two, one could be the right rear, one could be the left rear almost, right? Give yourself some stagger? Yeah, and certain applications where they, they mandate street tires, you could do that. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So if you're interested, uh, like I said, if you come on up and see the folks here at AMP Automotive, we're going to be getting some snows uh, from them here later this year. And of course, we want to thank our good friends at Garofalo's Importing right on the main drag here, right across the street, actually. Uh, if you come up 41 and take a right towards the speedway, they'll be on your left side. Homemade sausage. We're going to grab some subs right after that. I know you've had your share of their subs over the years, right, Mike? You've had a few of yes. those, right? <laughs> so make sure to look them up, too. And uh, hope you guys learned something from this. I know I did. And the next time I'm ready to buy some tires, I'm going to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Mike, thanks so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.